inshallah we'll we'll have a nice uh, gathering a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa afdhalus salatu wa atamu taslim ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our prayers and our dua and may allah protect us all from all evils including this coronavirus and any other viruses inshallah uh, we stopped last time uh, we conclude last time surah al-rum and we are at surah luqman and inshallah i would like to read to uh, read it first 24 verses and inshallah will uh, uh, i'm sorry 34 34 verses uh, two pages and inshallah will uh, cover some of the meanings a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alif Lam Mim Tilka ayatul kitabil hakim Hudaw wa rahmatan lil muhsinin Alladhina yuqimun as salata wa yu'tun az zakata wa hum bil akhirati hum yuqinun Ulaika ala hudan min rabbihim wa ulaika humul muflihun وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهْوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ وَيَتَّخِذَهَا هُزُوًا أُولَئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُهِينٌ وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا كَأَنْ لَمْ يَسْمَعْهَا كَأَنَّ فِي أُذُنَيْهِ وَقْرًا فَبَشِّرْهُ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ إن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات لهم جنات النعيم خالدين فيها وعد الله حقا وهو العزيز الحكيم خلق السماوات بغير عمد ترونها وألقى في الأرض رواسي أن تميد بكم وبث فيها من كل دابة وَأَنزَلْنَا مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَنبَتْنَا فِيهَا مِنْ كُلِّ زَوْجٍ كَرِيمٍ هَذَا خَلْقُ اللَّهِ فَأَرُونِي مَاذَا خَلَقَ الَّذِينَ مِنْ دُونِهِ بَلِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ آمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ uh, This is the first page, dear brothers and sisters, uh, of Surah Luqman. And Luqman, let's cover the uh, title here. Luqman is the uh, person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, titling the surah after him. The name of Luqman alayhi salam is not confirmed to be a prophet. Uh, rather, he is a wise man. A man that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired, blessed, um, uh, guided and make him as a, 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 a model for for fathers and for men to follow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honored him by having the title of the surah. And now we can see the next ayat, inshallah. وَلَقَدْ أَتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Luqman the wisdom. So uh, that is the, two, the, the name of the surah, the uh, title Luqman. Alif, Lam, Mim, we know that those are the letters. Tilka ayatul kitab al-hakim. This is the ayat of this wise book. Book that has all the uh, signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is so well put and done. Hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsineen. It has guidance and it has mercy for all those people who are muhsineen. So the Quran in every aspect of it is guidance. Guidance to man and uh, to, to human, to man and woman, of course, any human for that man, matter, but also it is rahma. Rahma to read, rahma to memorize, rahma to understand, rahma to practice, rahma to teach and deliver. It's rahma in every aspect. Hudan wa rahmatan lil muhsineen. Al muhsineen are the people who really fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know that al-ihsan is a status above Islam, above Iman, and then ihsan, as in the hadith of Rasulullah sallam, when uh, he told us, Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Umar radiallahu anhu, uh, told us the hadith that one time Rasulullah sallam was sitting down 
a man came in and sat next to him and started asking him about the uh, uh, level of deen. He told him, tell me about Islam, tell me about Iman, and then tell me about Ihsan. And Ihsan, he said, and ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarah, fa'in lam takun tarah, fa'innahu yarak. That to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if he is seeing you. And if you know, and we know that uh, 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 to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if you are seeing him, and since you cannot see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you have to worship him as if he is seeing you, which means with khushu' and commitment. And to do things like, I am doing it for the love of Allah. And that is like the conquering feeling of one's heart. And that is the ihsan. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this huda and this rahmah and this blessings of Allah through the Quran will come to that level of people. People who have that fear and love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they have the ihsan in their heart, which is really a, a transparent heart with khushu' and tawbah. And Allah described them here, الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ Right after. الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُونَ الصَّلَاةِ وَيُؤْتُونَ الزَّكَاةِ They will establish the prayers, they pay the zakah, وَهُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُقِنُونَ They are 100% confirmed and their iman is settled that they are believers in the akhirah, in the, the life after, in, in the uh, reward of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the jannah that Allah prepared for the Muslims. So after this definition of five verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي لَهُوَ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِغَيْرِ عِلْمِ وَيَتَّغِذَهَا هُزُوَا أُولَيْكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ مُهِينٌ Everything else other than the Quran and the teaching of religion and uh, good things that you learn in this life that's beneficial. Work, of course, learning, of course, uh, raising family, of course, everything. But if a people are uh, just making talk, lahwa uh, al-hadith, ghiba, namima, just nonsense, uh, extra talk, you know, people sometimes spend so much time on sports, uh, on the models of cars, on the models of houses, on the finance and this and that. It's things sometimes useless. It's like, you know, have it talk in vain. It, it doesn't really produce anything. Um, I don't want to say even the TV shows and like the uh, Bob series or the uh, all those movies, except if there is some of them who have like, you know, decent first and it has meanings, it has a message. Then other than that, it's really yashtari uh, al hadith. And people, of course, will include in that, that the ulama said that the ghina, that the songs, or singing and music and all of that. Now, not all of it necessarily haram. We are saying the one that take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it, it, it lead the person into the wrong direction. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Ula'ika lahum adhabu muheen. They will be insulted and they will have punishment in the day of judgment. وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتُنَا وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا Now the sign of those people that, okay, we're going to talk about what? Um, let's talk about weather. Okay, we can talk about weather for 10-15 minutes and then you move on. You talk about something useful. Otherwise, when we would start talking about something useful, then وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا Then they will, will leave. They will leave. They will not sit down for something useful. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, the Sahaba radiallahu alayhi said, this is good, this is bad. When something useful, وَإِذَا تُتْلَى عَلَيْهِ آيَاتٌ وَلَّا مُسْتَكْبِرًا كَأَنْ لَمْ يَسْمَعْهَا كَأَنَّ فِي أُذُنَيْهِ وَقْرًا فَبَشِّرُ بِعَذَابٍ أَلِيمٍ Like he don't want to listen anything about the Quran or about the Akhirah or about Maut, you know, about the life after, about death. As if you, a person, some people now we have just you know, talk about Jannah, about good things, about like positive things, which is good. Alhamdulillah, we will talk about positive things. Uh, inshallah, Jannah for Mu'mineen, etc. But on the other hand, you have to talk about the evil things, the crisis, the calamities, the hardship, the, 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 the tests of this life, uh, death in, at the end of this life, uh, suffering and pain. and All of that is part of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to learn about because it's part of reality. 
and that's where we are really not focusing sometimes. I don't know if anybody remember one, one time I talk about death in, uh, uh, in the Jumu'ah, uh, in the khutbah. And uh, after we finished, somebody come and he said, oh, oh uh, Brother Hermush is exaggerating. What is exaggerating? <laughs> in that terms, I don't know if he said the same word, but like, you know, he gets scared and people get scared that, oh yeah, we are going to die. Of course, we are going to leave everything behind and we are going to face all the challenges of the end of life. So uh, we have to be balanced in understanding the issues. And of course, we have to be as positive as we can be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us here, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتُ النَّعِيمِ You see, on the other hand, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who are believing and they do the good deeds, لَهُمْ جَنَّاتُ النَّعِيمِ اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنْ أَهْلِ النَّعِيمِ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا forever وَعَدَ اللَّهِ حَقَّا وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمِ That the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we don't have a doubt about Allah promise whether it is for the good people or the bad people خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ created heaven and earth بِغَيْرِ عَمَدٍ تَرَوْنَهَا without column holding this heaven or uh, uh, you know managing this earth other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَأَلْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ رَوَاسِيَ أَن تَمِيدَ بِكُمْ who keep this earth stable for us? You know, why it's not shaking all the time? All, all that aspects of our life, that's in every corner of our life, you will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we said uh, uh, wisdom first and uh, signs of greatness. Those mountains which keep the earth settled and balanced, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, min kulli dabba, uh, all kind of animals and creations, and by the way, they did not yet uh, really um, count for all the forms of life in this earth. You know, we know the human, we know some animals, we some uh, birds, this and that. But there are so much forms of life that we don't know about, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us. And when the uh, water comes down from heaven, in forms of rain or rivers or what have you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring to life all kind of uh, living things. Zawjin uh, Kareem. Here he's talking about flowers, about produce, about animals, about so many things. This is the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tell me what other uh, the people created. What did the people create in this world? They really did not create much. And their forms of creation is like reforms and reforming things. It is not as creation from nothing as uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala create. بَلِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ When people oppress themselves and they think that they have control over things and they have the power and so forth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala undermine that and show them how weak uh, they are. And all of us as really human being or creation in this earth. And now we can tell, of course, with this uh, crisis of coronavirus situation, we can tell that we are vulnerable, we are weak, we are really just in the hands of Allah, care and love and mercy and kindness. So let me read the second, and inshallah, we'll try to summarize it briefly. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةَ أَنِشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِظُهُ يَا بُنَيَّ لَا تُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنْسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنٍ وَفِصَالُهُ فِي عَامَيْنِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِي وَلِوَالِدَيْكَ إِلَيَّ الْمَصِيرُ وَإِنْ جَاهَدَكَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا وَاتَّبِعْ سَبِيلَ مَنْ أَنَابَ إِلَيَّ ثُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ فَأُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us the ayat continues so beautiful, so nice and I think really we need to cover it more in details. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us here that Allah granted Luqman al-Hikmah wisdom 
and in Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ يُؤْتَ الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Whoever that get the wisdom, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with so many good things. And Al-Hikmah, dear brothers, is to put the right things or to say the right things or to do the right things at the right time, at the right place, at the right situation. It's like to know as much as possible the circumstances and to do the right things that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and serve the cause that you are trying to serve. Uh, there are other definitions for al-hikmah. Al-hikmah also could be a sunnah a sunnah which is the norms, uh, al-fitrah, the natural like uh, thinking, the natural growth, the natural understanding, and so on. So uh, uh, the main things of that hikmah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted the Luqma'a salam, is to be thankful. Anishkur lillah. وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ If you don't, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care about you. غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ Allah is not in need of any of his creation, given. Period. But if you are really wise person, appreciative person, then you should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أَنِشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ For all the blessings that countless and imagine now, as we know, because of this virus, so many things that we missed. And so many things that we are not like, you know, doing like we used to. Are we really thankful for all the blessings that we still have? That is very important. But if you don't, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us about Luqman and how he dealt with his children. As he was advising his and counseling his son, he said, La tushrik billah. First and foremost, after being a life and thankful person, is don't be mushrik. Because even if you are thankful, but you are not believers in God or the oneness of God, then we have problem. You have some good, but you really seriously you are problem that you are not muahid. Very important aspect in our deen. Uh, the shirk is dhulm. The dhulm is shirk. That is, you know, synonymous. If you are mushrik, if a person is mushrik, then he is dhalim. Dhalim to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, natural like roles or, or, or norms, and dhalim only nafsihi, and then dhalim to others. You hardly can find a mushrik to be just and fair. We are not talking about like, you know, in the court system or in dealing or buying. No. First and foremost, for the one's own self and one's toward his creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you are not just and fair with the creator, subhanahu, so you are not submitting to him and you believe that two or three gods or multiple gods, then you are mushrik. That by itself is bulm and you cannot be uh, uh, in this case, shakir. You cannot be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you claim uh, um, partnership with him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling that Luqman uh, to his son, and then, وَوَصَّيْنَا الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْهِ حَمَلَتُ أُمُّهُ وَهْنًا عَلَى وَهْنًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling the human to take care of your parents. Because especially walidayhi, walidayhi, and then حَمَلَتْهُ أُمُّهُ his mother carried him. Wahnan ala wahn. Hardship after hardship. Hardship from the time of conception and later on development and later on, of course, delivery after nine months or so. All of that is hardship. And uh, taking care of him after that. Wahamluhu, wahn ala wahn, wa fi saluhu fi amain. Anishkur li, wali wali, ilayya al masir. So between the hamil, which is uh, the carrying of the baby or pregnancy until the time that a person or the, 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 the new human being will be uh, two years old. Amain is two years. Uh, that is the time maximum more or less that the, 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 the baby can be breastfed, can be uh, breastfed uh, by his mother and nine months and the remaining of the time, like one year and uh, maybe um, 
now between nine and 12, like uh, 10, 12, almost 15 months, one year, uh, nine months uh, pregnancy and uh, delivery, and then 15 months of breastfeeding, that's two years. That is the possibility of uh, the child that can be need to be taken care of, of a very very uh, special way. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said that after that, anishkur li walidayk ilayn musir. Then thank Allah Subhanahu wa Taala first for the creation, and then your parents for taking care of you. Ultimately, you are going to Allah. And if your parents happen to be non-believers and they want you to be a mushrik, then do not obey them. There is no uh, uh, obedience to anybody when it comes to uh, tawheed and iman to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But in the dunya, you will still friendly with them, helpful, supportive, loving, etc., caring, but not joining in the faith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِنْ جَاهَدَكَ عَلَىٰ تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٍ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفَ وَاتَّرَى سَبِيلَ مَنْ أَنَابَ إِلَيْهِ in the dunya, be nice and do ma'roof, ihsan to them, and then follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ilayya marja'ukum fa'unabbi'ukum ma kuntum ta'amalun. Dear brothers, I don't want to take too much time, but here, Ya bunayya aqim as-salah, wa umur bil ma'roof, wa nha'an al-munkar. And then the ayat continue of the advices that Sayyidina Al-Quman alayhi salam gave his son and uh, of course, all the believers like after him, especially the young one, of the values and the principles and the character of the Muslim person that do not, don't look like, you know, you are somebody, uh, don't like turn your head away, don't raise your voice uh, like, like donkeys, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said here, and don't walk like, you know, you are the one and only. All those description goes on and on and uh, make sure that you uh, hold the robe of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, appreciate all the goodness in this life. Uh, toward the end, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala telling us, Ya ayyuhal nas, ittaqu Allah, ittaqu rabbakum, O people, uh, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wakhshaw yawman, and fear that day, yawma la yizi walidun awwaladi. As much as uh, Luqman is advising his son what to do, and he cares so much about him and his iman and his Islam. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala toward the end telling us, like, be careful. Ya ayyuhal nas, ittaqu rabbakum. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wakhshaw yawman. Fear the day where walid, the father, cannot save his son. Nor the son can save his father. And no one can save anybody. Inna wa'da Allahi haqq. Allah promises the truth. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمُ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Don't be swayed with the uh, affair of the dunya. Al-hayat al-dunya is like, you're going to live forever, you're going to be rich always, you're going to be strong, you're going to be this and that. Don't. Don't be swayed with all the, uh, what the, this world, this dunya, offer you. And then, وَلَا يَغُرَّنَّكُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغَرُورِ Don't be misguided by the shaitan that he is always. Then in Allah عنده Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows علم الساعة The exact time of the end of time علم الساعة The knowledge of the end of time وينزل الغيف Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring the rain anytime he wants ويعلم ما في الأرحام And Allah knows what's in the wombs of every female human and animal and all the creations whether it's male or female and what's inside Allah knows وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ غَدَا Ones do not know what he or she will gain tomorrow. تَكْسِبُ غَدَا What will happen? What will come to me? What will be my destiny or my like ultimate situation tomorrow? And وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتُ And I don't know where I will be dying. In which location on this earth? إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ خَبِيرٌ Allah knows all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the uh, ultimate, uh, ultimate knowledge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on all those unknown, unknown truth. Truth, but it's unknown to us. It's known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ilm al Nobody knows but Allah. Uh, what will happen? Who, who bring rain tomorrow or any time? Allah. 
and then who knows what uh, anybody is like the female uh, creation have in their womb Allah and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what and any and everyone will get tomorrow or any time as for gain and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows where everybody will die and when uh, this dear brother and sister and so many others I missed in uh, in the surah is really worth st studying and understanding and pondering over and reflecting on and uh, understanding even even much more I don't want to take more time unless you have questions I know we have brother uh, Salim with us and brother uh, Munir and I really appreciate this uh, wonderful company and inshallah we will continue uh, Friday with Surah Al-Sajdah Surah Al-Sajdah another great Surah inshallah ta'ala